Hey guys, hope you're well. Welcome to this chapter. So we're going to start with constant difference patterns. So what is a constant difference pattern? Well, let's say you have the number or the numbers 5, 8, 11, 14, and then it goes on and on. So we call it a pattern because it's just a whole bunch of numbers. But can you see what the pattern actually is? Well, you can see here that we are adding three each time. Can you see that? So because we adding, or it could also be subtracting, for ex I'll show you one now. If we adding the same amount, we call that a constant difference pattern. So let's say for example, we have um, 20, oh, that's a different color. 20, 18, 16, 14, and so on. Well, now what's happening is we are subtracting two. Can you see that? We are subtracting two each time. So we call that, that's also a constant difference pattern. Now, the way that this lesson's gonna go is we, I'm gonna teach you how to identify the pattern. I'm gonna also teach you how to come up with a formula that, because that's something that you're gonna be asked. And then we're gonna get more into the details of, um, you know, how to determine specific values and then as we go along, we're also gonna do two examples where we're looking at tables, okay? So we've got quite a bit we're gonna cover. We're gonna go as quickly as we can, but obviously I'm gonna try and make sure that you understand everything, so let's go. So here we have a pattern. Now we can see that we're adding two. You can see that we're adding two each time to go from the next to the next. So the first question says, determine the rule in words, where you could just say, um, add two. That's all that you need to say, but now, let me show you a nice, easy way to come up with a rule using algebra. So all I want you to do, now your teacher might use different letters, but all I want you to do quickly is just say equals, then the number that you are, you see this number here that you are adding each time, it could also be a negative, as we'll see in some examples. I want you to write that number down and then put a letter. Now teachers usually use the letter N, okay? That's the first thing I want you to do. Now. All I want you to do now is try to work out or calculate what, if we had to go backwards, if we had to go here, what would this number be? Well, we should be able to identify or work out that this number would have to be a one, right? Because if you had to say add two, well then it would give you three. So you see how we said it's a one? That's a positive one. So I just want you to put a positive one over there and then your teacher might put something different here, but normally, or most times, teachers will say T, N. But your teacher might put something different, but that's okay, you can use whatever your teacher does, but what's important is that you know how to find this part and this part, and this is the rule. And we can use that rule to calculate many, many things, which I'm gonna show you in a few examples from now, like over here and over here. Okay, so let's practice this a little bit more. So here what we can see is we're going from 10 to 14, so we are adding four. Then we're adding four and we're adding four. You see how it's a constant difference. So what is the rule? Add four, easy, right? Now, determine the rule. Okay, so remember the number that you are adding or subtracting, you put that number there, four. If it was a negative, you would put a negative, which we'll see in, I think, this example. Okay, so we're gonna put a four, then put an N. Then you need to imagine, what would this number be? Well, this number here would have to be six because six plus four is 10. So is it a positive six? Yes, it is, so you just said positive six. Then you just put a TN or whatever your teacher uses and there is the rule. Now here's one where you are going minus, minus two, minus two. So what's the rule? Subtract two if we wrote it in words. Now, what is the rule using algebra? Well, you take, you put an equal sign, you take that minus two and you put an N. Then you have to imagine what would this one be? Well, this would have to be 22, right? Don't say 18 because it has to be 22 because when you minus two, then it'll give us 20. So we will say, but it's a positive 22, so we'll say positive 22. And then here you can just say TN, and there is the rule. Let's do one more, and then we're gonna start getting into more detailed kind of things. 
So determine the rule in words. So we can add six here, then we add six over here because 17 plus six is 23, and then 23 to 29 is also add six. So with the rule in words, we could say add six. Now, what is the rule in algebra? Well, remember what we said, you take that number six and you put an N, then you have to imagine what is this number gonna be? Well, that would have to be five because five plus six is 11, so we'll say five. And then here you can just say TN. Right, now we're gonna go and take it a little bit further, okay? So let's have a look here. Here we are adding three, here we are adding three, here we are adding three. So it says determine the next two terms. Well, if you add three, you would get 32. And if you add three to that, you would get 35. Now it says determine the rule using words. Well, what are we doing? We're adding three, so add three. Determine the rule using algebra. Okay, so here's where we say TN equals, now what is the number that we're adding each time? Three, so we say 3N, and then you have to imagine what would this number be? What would this one be? Well, that would have to be 17, so we say here 17. Okay, now, this is really important, and listen carefully now, because I, have, I still have grade 12s that still get this part confused. It's not difficult, but you just have to think carefully, and once you understand it, then it's very, very easy. So you see how we have the number 20, 23, 26, 29. These are called the values. Those are the values. But what is the term? Well, this is term number one, term number two, term number three, and term number four. Now, whenever they give you a value, I want you to plug that over here. And whenever they give you a term, I want you to plug that over here. So you have to make a note for yourself of how you are gonna remember that. So this question number four says, what is term, which is the blue one, 42? So we go to the blue one and we're gonna put a 42 there. So we're gonna go um, term, so we're just gonna go equals three. Now you're gonna change this to a 42 in a bracket. So now this has become a multiply. So it's gonna be three multiplied by 42 plus 17 and that'll give you 143. Okay, so we're gonna put 143 over there. Now, with this one, they said, which term has a value of 245? So they're giving us the value now, okay? Um, they're giving us the value. So we take our little formula that we have and we rewrite it, um, you know, the way we had it. You don't, you don't write the 42, for example. We don't know what this is now because now it's a brand new question. So the value, which is the yellow part, is gonna be 245. So we put 245 in the place of that. There we go. Now, when you look at this, what are we actually trying to find? We're trying to find this one. Maybe you can remember from a previous grade where we did equations and you had to solve for x. Well, now we're just solving for n, okay? So the way it works is we wanna keep, so let's just keep these two together for now. And we wanna keep all of the things with letters, which is this, it's got the letter N. We wanna keep that on one side and everything else we wanna take it to the other side. So let's keep this three N here on the, on this side. Let's keep it over there. And then that means we need to take this 17 and we need to take it to the other side. So we're gonna take this 17 over to here. The rule is, you see how it's a plus? When it crosses the sign over here, the equal sign, then this symbol has to switch to a negative. If it was a negative, then it would switch to a positive. So we're gonna say two, four, five, and now we're gonna say minus 17. You see how we took it to the other side and then we changed it to a minus? and then we have that. And so if you minus those two numbers, you end up with 228, like that. Okay, I'm just gonna write it up here because I'm running out of space. Now, the next thing we need to do is we need to get rid of this three. The way you do that is you divide by three here so that those cancel. But what you do on the one side, you have to do on the other side. So now we have N 
And on the other side, if you divide those, you get 76. So that is the answer. Which term? Term number 76. Okay, it might still be feeling a bit weird, but luckily we still have another two more of those to practice. So here, let's try this one now. So here we can see that we are adding five. Adding five, adding five, adding five adding five. So it says write down the next two terms. Well, if you add five to 31, you'd end up with 36. And if you add five to 36, you'd end up with 41. Now it says use a rule, find a rule using words. Well, here you can just say add five. Technically, if they say words, we could say add five like that. Um, and then this one says determine the rule using algebra. Okay, so remember, here's where you say equals. Then the number that you are adding or subtracting each time, you put that number here, okay? If it was a negative, you'd put a negative. And then you need to, remember, you need to figure out what is this number gonna be over here. So this would have to be a six because six plus five would give you 11. So this would be six. And then here you can just put TN. But like I said, your teacher might use a different letter or a different thing over there. Now, this formula, is now going to be very important when we go to question four and question five. So remember what I said, when you've got the 11, um, 16, 21, 26, and then you've got, um, those are called the values. And then you've got term, which is one, that's term two, term three. It's almost like position, position one, position two, position three, position four. So if I write down the formula, remember that this one here, which is the term, that goes here. A lot of learners get confused because they see that there's a T and a T, but it's not, they don't go together. And then this is the value. So if they give you the value, then you plug that in here. So this first question says, determine term 20. Okay, so they've given us the blue one. So we go and we fill in the blue one like that. And so that becomes a multiply. So you can rewrite it as five multiply um, 20, plus six. And if you had to work that out, you'd end up with 106. Now with number five, now they're saying which term has a value. So now that's the yellow one. Okay. So we're going to write down the formula and you're going to put the value, the yellow one, which goes in that place as 261. Now, remember, we want to get this part by itself. So we take this plus six over to the other side. So it becomes a minus when you take it to the other side. And then what is 261 minus six? It's 255. Okay, let's just write that over here. Now, remember at this step, you divide by five and what you do to the one side, you do to the other side so that those fives cancel. And so you end up with 51. So the answer here is 51. And I should have also put here 106. Let's do another one. Determine the next two terms. Okay, so if you look at 11 and eight, you can see that we are actually minusing three. So what is two minus three? Well, that'll actually give you negative one. And then what is negative one take away three? Well, that'll give you negative four. Now it says determine the rule. Well, the rule is subtract three. Now it says find the rule using algebra. Okay, so remember you say TN equals. Now what are we doing here? We're minusing three. So you put a minus three and then you put the N. Then remember you need to try to figure out what is this number over here? If we had to have a number here, what would it be? Well, it would be 14. Why? Because 14 minus three would be 11. So it's 14 like that. Now, Remember that the 11, the eight, the five, the two, those are the values. And then the term is, well, that would be term number one, term number two, term number three, term number four. And then when we write out the formula, minus three N plus 14, then remember that the term is this one and the value is this one. So with number four, they say determine term 20, which is the blue one, term 20. So we're gonna take that formula and we're gonna plug in a 20 over there. And that's the same as multiplying. And so you could just go type this all on your calculator and you'd end up with negative 46. So the answer there is negative 46.
Now, with number five, we write down our formula again. Now they say which term has a value. Okay, so the value is the yellow one, so it goes there. So we put negative 28 over there. Now, we need to get this part by itself. So we take this to the other side. We take that over to the other side. So it will become negative 14. And if you had to type this in your calculator, this will give you negative 42. So let me just write that over here. Now to get, now listen carefully, to get this by itself, you're gonna have to divide by negative three. So you divide by negative three, and what you do on the one side, you do on the other side, so that those can all cancel. And then you're left with 14. So we can put 14 as our answer over there. With these types of table questions, they're very easy. Have a look here. Term one, term two, term three is five, eight, and 11. So that's almost like me telling you five, eight, 11. You see, very, very easy. Now, it's exactly the same as what we looked at in the previous one. They're just showing it in a different way. So all that they want you to do here is to determine the letter A and the letter B. So what they actually want is what is term number six? Well, that's easy. If we just had to carry on here, can you see that we're adding three each time? So that would be 17 and then that would be 20. So term one, two, three, four, five, six will be 20. And then term seven will just be 23. Let's do one more. Here we have term one, two, and three. So we can see that it's 19, 16, and 13. So what are we doing here? We're subtracting three. So if we just keep, keep subtracting three, this will be seven, four, one. So term number one, two, three, four, five, six will have a value of four. And then term number seven, by the way, this just means that we're skipping. So we, we, we don't wanna look at term four and five, we're just skipping. And then this term seven would be four, five, six, seven, it would be this one over here, which is a one. So the answer is four and one.